A few years ago, when Roger Goodell and the NFL decided that in light of everything that happened in 2020, that they needed to go full woke. They needed to push the agenda. They needed to go all in on identity politics and social justice. It upset a significant portion of the fan base. And in the years since then, you've seen the attempt to almost walk some of that back, not make it quite as prominent because it was clear and obvious. It had a big impact on NFL ratings. And of course, some people have come back after they realized that it wasn't quite as prominent, but it still exists. Absolutely, the woke agenda is still very much in play for the NFL. And there's probably nothing that could possibly make it more clear than when you go to a football game, you look at the cheerleaders on the sidelines and you see this. I'm setting things up for the younger generation. NFL transgender cheerleader seeks to inspire youth. I'm sure you want to do something to the youth. I'm sure that's it. Here's the person, a Carolina Panthers cheerleader that is being celebrated as the first openly trans cheerleader in the NFL. And you know, it'd be one thing if it was just a random article about this, but this is coming from the NFL themselves. This is from around the NFL, which is associated with the NFL in an article on NFL.com. This is the NFL celebrating this degeneracy. First openly transgender NFL cheerleader, Justine Lindsay, a face of the possible. Uh, I could not imagine, you know, taking your kid to their first Carolina Panthers game, which kind of just sad in general, but I'm a Bears fan. I don't have much room to speak right now. But and walking up and looking at the cheerleaders rolling out and seeing this, holy shit, let's get into this article. The NFL's first transgender cheerleader speaking out. Not only is he voicing opposition to bans on hormone therapy and supporting males competing in women's sports, he's also saying he wants his story to serve as an inspiration for trans kids. Disgusting. Everything that I'm going through now, it's bigger than me, he told Elle magazine. I'm setting things up for the younger generation. No one is going to stop this show. Lindsay sees becoming a cheerleader as proof that trans people can do anything. Uh, except become the opposite sex, I suppose. I want to change the narrative for my trans sisters and brothers just to let them know that if you have a goal, go for it. Turn that dream into a reality. Be an NFL cheerleader or a doctor or a nurse or whatever you set your mind to. Uh, You might have a problem with biology class if you go to do that. However, despite Lindsay's no limits hopes for trans youth, some states are limiting the ability of trans athletes to play in girls and women's sports. Good. It's a good thing to not let biological males compete with real women. For example, states such as North Carolina have enacted a Fairness in Women's Sports Act to keep males from competing against females. Lindsay disapproves of the law. I'm sure. I'm sure that this person does. I will fight this until I can't fight anymore, Lindsay said of the act. It saddens me to see it. Speaking of his top cats team, which has two other male members, Chris Crawford and Tyrese Neal, Lindsay says the cheer squad represents the ideal. We're a true example of what a great team looks like, and other teams can build off that. As long as these knees can drop it low and bring it up slow, I'll be dancing. Yeah, uh, I I don't think that most people are going to want to tune in to watch this cheerleading squad, just to guess out there. But this is just one more example of what Roger Goodell has done to the NFL. By trying to get in with the crowd in 2020 with all this bullshit going on, go all in on social justice, he made a decision that is now irreversible. You can't take off and racism from the sidelines because you'll get attacked from those very same people you tried to pander to. You can't not celebrate things like this because you try to pretend like you're so progressive. It drives the audience away. It pisses the fans off. But this is what the NFL has continued to commit to. What do you guys think of this disgusting cheerleading shit? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.